well, in Curator, mainly because their new log sources are coming in formats like JSON and some sort of XML, CSV, etc. Uh, that doesn't require you to do regex. Uh, even though the DSM editor now suggests you regex, uh, uh, so you don't have to, if you don't know how to create your own, uh, there's still the need. I feel like it is good to put a, a set of short videos that teach people a crash course on how to learn the basics of regex for Curator. This is not meant to be uh, an, an extensive uh, course on regex or that will focus on performance and any other things. No, this is specifically if you need to write regex uh, just for Curator. So if you go to the video description of any of my videos, in there there is a public box folder and you'll find in this box folder two files and I have those files in here and I'm still working on one of them. Uh, this we're going to go into detail on, on this video but this one is a, an example of a bunch of uh, regex that are already compiled with the log sources for you to practice this or either you know get the regex uh, that, that you want and need and then on the next uh, videos we're going to be taking examples of here and we're going to build this together and, and try to pass along some knowledge on, on regex. might be a good idea to print this short file and I, I may put a few more things here but I will, I will keep it just like that. Let's actually read uh, regex and I did a separate video on regex and the need for it and all that so I'm going straight to the point here. Well in regex there are some special characters or meta characters like an asterisk. So whenever I put for example if I want to put uh, you know uh, Z asterisk that means I'm looking for the match of the letter Z how many times? One or more times. So there might be uh, no Z's and it will match or there will be two Z's and it will match or three etc. Right? The next meta character question mark. Well there is zero or one so this it, it, it will match whether there is no if, if we were to put uh, Z question mark they will not it, it, it will match once but if I put two Z's in the air uh, it, it will not it will not match right and if I don't if I don't put anyone it will match because it's zero or none plus one or more so I can have uh, one Z two Z's etc right notice the difference this is zero or more this is one or more and then uh, the dot, which is kind of a wildcard, um, and this can be confusing if you come from Unix, where you are used to use the asterisk for that. No, it's uh, regex is different. So the 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 dot means match any character whatsoever. Then square brackets. Square bracket is to specify a range of characters. So for example, if I put A B C. Well, this will match either the character A, the character B, or the character C, whatever is in there. If I put them with the dash in between, that's a range of characters. So A to Z means all lower cases from A to Z. Uh, 0 to 9 means all digits from 0 to 9, right? The pipe is the OR operand, like in many other languages. So we want to, we want to search this thing or that thing that will be present on your logs, you use the pipe for that. And then there are, there are some characters uh, that are uh, special and, and don't get confused with the escape we're going to be doing here. There are some characters that you specify as, uh, backslash T, it's not you are escaping the letter T, you are specifying I'm looking for a tab character. Backslash D, I'm looking for a digit. Backslash capital D, anything but a digit. Backslash S, white spaces. Backslash capital S, anything but a white, white space. Between curly braces, M means I want to find exactly five occurrences of the, the thing that precedes that. So that will be whatever I'm looking for for the match. Then between curly brackets, uh, uh, the number five. M comma N comma N 
means I'm I'm find I want to find n matches at least n matches and at most n matches. So you are restricting the range here. If you specify m comma nothing means at least m and as many as they can be. Now we we're going to go a lot about this on the usage of parentheses. That's all for capture groups and you'll see that in the DSM editor and you know different parts of Korea when you are extracting properties etc but that's when you when, when the piece that you want to extract is, is precisely what you want to grab then you put those between parentheses and that will be your capture group and you can have as many as they as, as they are and the first one that is found from left to right is chapter uh, capture one one two etc right then the backslash is to escape a character so for example if you are looking for an IP address a 174 dot whatever well that dot you cannot use this one because that will match any character you when you are specifying to match a specific dot per se you need to escape it right same for any other thing if you are looking for a asterisk you need to escape it or a question mark you need to escape it so you, you get the point you've seen computer languages so you know what i'm talking i will add more combinations in here but you know when you put dot and asterisk what i'm saying well i'm, I'm matching everything because i'm saying well any character as uh, zero or more so this will always give you it's a greedy thing that it will get you everything and a few anchors i may add a few more the carrot it's at the beginning of the line and the dollar is at the end of the line so if you want to find something that is at the beginning of the end you'll use this so again that's a very basic print this file in the next video we are going to be taking that uh, regex cheat sheet and we're going to be building some of these regex uh, together.